Laura's prompt, the latest one was Stormy, so I found this little boat on pin shape and I resized it into 1 to 144 and then I printed it out on my resin printer. I'm using a piece of resin clay and I'm taking a cutter that I like in the size and I'm going to cut out the shape of it and I'm making sure that I like the edges before I start working on it. I want this to look like a very troubled ocean so I'm just uh, creating some big waves on this part. Don't mind the colors because we are going to make a mold of this and then make this in resin. I'm using a tiny bit of bacon bond on the top of the waves to make them stronger and the surface a little more smooth than it is right now. This piece is sitting really good on the glass, so I'm just making a paper edge around it for my mold putty to be put in there. I'm using my platinum silicone rubber for this because I can use that with UV resin. Leave it for half an hour to harden. A 
And here is my mold all done and I'm just going to clean up the edges. First I'm using a tiny bit of white UV resin. This is going into the bottom of the mold which will be on the tip of the waves. I'm using hard UV resin and different colors of blue to make the ocean and my first layer is a light blue and that's the top of the ocean and then I'm making it darker and darker for each layer I make until this mold is all full. When the mold is all full and the resin is all hardened, you can take this little piece out of the mold. I'm going to sand it a bit in the bottom to make it all flat. Now I'm going to paint this little boat so it has the colors that I like it to be. Then I'm making some small splashes over a rounded mold with some of my UV resin. I make a few one of those and I'm putting it into my UV light. I'm using a tiny bit of UV resin as a glue for the boat. And then I'm going to take some of these that I made just before. And I'm going to glue that on with a tiny bit of UV resin. And I have my UV torch that I'm using for hardening the UV resin a bit while putting these splashes on there. I'm 
I used a thin UV resin to glaze all the wet parts of this little thing. Then I have a little man that I painted and I'm going to glue that one into the boat. This was fun to make and it's going to go into my little work peak box. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting!